Marcus Wiley and I'm a pre-cal student in Ms. Abbott's fourth period class. And today I'm going to be solving part one of this and that's finding the domain of h of x and g of x. And today I'll have the help of Albert Einstein and Muhammad Ali. The greatness is within this room. Alright, so first of all, for h of x, all you have to do to get the zero is, to find the domain is get the zero of the denominator. So 5x minus 3 equals 0. So then we got to get x by itself. Add 3 to both sides. 5x equals 3. And then divide by 5 to get x by itself. And therefore, we have all real numbers. x cannot equal 3 fifths. For the next one, we have a quadratic, 4x squared minus 7x minus 2. So therefore, this is going to be a parabola, which looks like this. So there's going to be no restrictions. So this is going to be all real numbers, no restrictions. And that's it for part one. Part two will be h of g of x, and which Jordan Kidna is going to be solving for you. Hello everybody, it's Jordan Kenna. Um, I just want to give a shout out to Joy on the camera, okay? If Joy's a part of this, she's just a little too shy to do it. Okay, so I'm doing the second part of the problem. You just saw Marcus Filey's video. I'm doing the second part, which is part B. Okay, so for this part, problem, we have to simplify H of G, so H and G, and find the domain. So, all you have to do for h of g is plug it in to this problem right here. So you get that, you get h of x, and then you have g of x, which is 4x squared minus 7x minus 2. Okay, so all you have to do is plug in this whole problem into the x right here. That, just, that whole thing just replaces the x. So I'll show you, you're probably confused, I already know. Okay, so you get, so the problem, you get two over five, and then you put the whole parentheses right here. So four x squared minus seven x minus two minus three. Simple, right? All right, so then you just have to foil this five into there. So you get 20 x squared, minus 35x minus 10, okay? And you're like, what happened to the negative three? Okay, so you take the negative three and put it into the 10, since you would just add on right here, you just combine like terms, okay? So you end up getting negative 13, okay? And you have two over it, okay? So the final domain, you just do what Marks finally did in the last video, take the denominator of the problem and say equal to zero, but for the purposes of the video, I'm gonna do the quadratic formula, okay? So, everybody who's anybody in math knows the quadratic formula, okay? So, you do 20x squared minus 35x minus 13, there's your problem, okay? So you do the quadratic formula, which is negative b, but since we already have a negative 35, you just leave it as a positive 35. Plus or minus the square root of b squared, so negative 35 squared minus 4 ac. So ac is 20. So a is 20, negative 13, which is the c part. Okay, all over 2a. So, 2, or, so you have 2 times 20, so that's 40. Okay? Alright, so, um, simplify this in here. So you end up getting, you end up getting 35 plus or minus square root of 1,225 which is just 35 squared, 
and you're like, this is a negative, so why don't you get a negative here? So negative 35 times negative 35 equals a positive, okay? So then plus, you're like, why don't you get negative here? So negative four times negative 13 is a positive. So you get plus 1,040 all over 40, okay? So now we're done with this, we'll erase this right here. Okay, so now you just combine these right here. So you get 35 plus or minus square root of 2,265 all over 40. Okay, so normally you would just try and factor this out but we couldn't factor it out, so we just ended up getting a decimal. So then, so we got 35 plus or minus 47.59 all over 40. Okay, so then you just do 35 plus 47.59 divided by 40, and 35 minus 47.59 over 40, uh, divided by 40. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna write the answers that we got to save some time. Okay, so we end up getting x equals 2.065 and x equals negative 0 0.314. Okay, so for the domain of the function, which is what we need to find, Okay, so the domain is simply it is simply all reals x and not equal two point zero six five or negative zero point three one four, which is what we got right here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your answer. Thank you for your time. Miss Abbott, we better get an A for this. Thank you.